Hi, my name is Chef Fernando Mojica. I am here with Columbus State Hospitality Programs. Um, welcome to, thank you for joining us today. We are cooking out of our main production kitchen. Uh, this is the, the main hub uh, for all things culinary related. This is where the uh, action happens for the restaurant the students run um, and uh, a lot of other production for classes and events and so on. So um, today what we thought we'd show you is something cool and easy, uh, but still with a little bit of techniques uh, to it. So we're gonna make a salad. Uh, however, we're going to try to uh, make this salad a little bit more um, skill driven. So what we're going to do is we're going to do just a basic salad with um, pickled butternut squash. Um, we're going to, we have uh, baby cucumbers and asparagus. We blanch this ahead of time, uh, but we're actually going to marinate these, uh, the, two, the asparagus and the uh, cucumbers with um, an herb vinaigrette. Uh, very simple, um, just a little bit of oil and, and a ton of fresh herbs. I'm gonna let them sit for about an hour or so just to pick up a lot of flavor um, on that. Uh, we have uh, greens here. We notice that you have, we have them in a uh, ice bath. What this is gonna do is this is going to crisp up the leaves, make them really nice, really crispy, uh, and be a nice bite to them. Uh, for our pickled butternut squash, we're gonna use apple cider vinegar. Uh, we have uh, just about uh, a cup or so of the apple cider vinegar. Uh, we have a couple of ounces of brown sugar. Now, I prefer to use uh, apple cider vinegar and uh, brown sugar uh, just for building flavors and, and depth of flavors. You can certainly use uh, white balsamic vinaigrette on these. You can certainly use just regular sugar. Um, you can certainly use uh, even just white vinegar on these. So just um, whatever you have available it works just as well. And then we have a couple of tablespoons of pickling spices uh, here. This has uh, mustard seeds, this has uh, cinnamon in it, it has uh, old spice, uh, whole old spice, and uh, fennel seeds, it has bay leaves in it, and so on. Um, and then the dressing that we're gonna show you how to make today is gonna be an uh, orange dressing or a citrus dressing. So uh, we chose orange juice for this. Again, certainly you can use um, any other type of citrus, um, juice for these, lime, lemon, and so on. Uh, even grapefruit will be work, work well with this. Uh, we have Dijon mustard. Uh, this is gonna act as the, uh, the binder for the dressing. We have a little bit of honey in here. Uh, and then we have a little bit of olive oil and a little bit of um, can, uh, vegetable oil or canola oil. Uh, good rule of thumb for your dressings, you want um, uh, one, uh, three to one part or two and a half to two one part, it depends on how tart you want your vinaigrettes. Um, I like them a little bit more on the tart side, so I use one part of uh, my basic liquid, which will in this case will be the orange juice, and then I use two and a half parts of the uh, oil in it. Um, if you want them to be a little less tart, then you want to go to that three parts oil. Um, what we're going to do with the uh, orange juice, we're going to reduce it though. So we started with um, uh, about two cups of orange juice. We're going to heat these over a low heat and we're gonna just let it reduce until we have half of what we began with. That's gonna really concentrate that flavor of the orange juice, and again, it's just a way to build up um, the, uh, the, the flavor profile of your salad. So we'll walk you through these uh, uh, steps, and uh, we hope you enjoyed this video. All right, so we're gonna start with some of the components of the salad. Um, all of these components are very simple, so we're gonna start with the pickling um, of the butternut squash, all right? So what we did is we took the uh, vinegar, the pickling spice, and the brown sugar here, Put them in a, in a pan, um, bring them up to a boil, then lower it, let it simmer for about 10, 15 minutes, let all the spices develop the flavor, like release all the oils and, and uh, the sugar to start you know, uh, building uh, caramelization and so on. So we are going to let this go for about 10, 15 minutes and then we'll, uh, while we do that, we're gonna start getting our butternut squash ready. All right, so we're gonna show you how to cut a butternut squash. A lot of people um, have not, uh, don't do this too often and so on. So. Uh, the easiest way to do it is take your butternut squash. I like to use an, uh, a knife to peel it. You can certainly use a vegetable peeler. I just find that to um, be a little harder with a peeler uh, just because of how thick the skin of the butternut squash is. All right, so we're gonna look at the top of the butternut squash right where it starts to get a little wider. We're gonna cut right there, right? Now, <clears throat> for this particular application, we're only gonna use the top. Now, these can uh, be used for other purposes. Um, one of the other videos we reference uh, root vegetables or um, cooking uh, a vegetable fricassee, it's certainly something that you can use with, with that recipe as well. Um, so we're gonna save these today. Then we're gonna take our knife, cut the top part of the butternut squash, 
And then I like to take about the first inch or so from the tip of the knife and then use it the same technique that you would use if you were cutting like a pineapple or a melon or a cantaloupe or something like that, right? You wanna just take just enough of the skin and the reason I like to use the, uh, the first inch or so of the knife is just because it's gonna be a lot thinner than this edge so you won't cut a lot into the flesh of the, the butternut squash and the edible part. As you can see, it's, it's really just the skin that we're peeling. So we'll do this all the way around. It's peeled now. We're gonna take um, the beginning edge right here and we're just gonna flatten it out a little bit. This will help with um, making sure that it's not uh, wobbly. Right, so we're gonna cut these into um, small dice. So we, we now have a, a vegetable that's not gonna move around on you. So we're gonna do planks that are an eighth of an inch thick, right? Um, and then once we do these planks, we wanna be careful there. Um, we're gonna take, we're gonna lay them flat and we'll do the rest of them. We're gonna lay them flat and then we're gonna cut into basically match sticks that are an eighth of an inch thick. And then we're gonna rotate these around and we're gonna finish off the dices. We have our pickle liquid ready. We have our uh, butternut squash dice and what we're going to do is we're gonna take this liquid and we're just gonna strain get all the, you know, Pickling spices out of the liquid. Um, we're gonna let our butternut squash seed uh, at, and in a cooler um, or a refrigerator. We're gonna put this in until the liquid is completely cold. Um, one is completely cold. Uh, take about an hour, a couple of hours or so. Um, ideally, by then the, the butternut squash will be pickled. Um, sometimes you can do these and leave it overnight, and that will just intensify that that flavor of the butternut squash. Uh, but after a couple of hours, you should be good to go. All right, so we're gonna start our dressing, um, and then after this, we'll be ready to play off the salad. Um, so what we have here is we have the orange juice that we reduced earlier. Um, we have the orange juice, we have um, the mustard, the Dijon mustard, and the honey, okay? Um, we um, have a, a little bit of a, as, a, as a way to stabilize our bowl and, and not have it, uh, make it easier for us as we blend in the oil. I put a little bit of, um, uh, put a towel with a little bit of water here that will help the bowl to stay stay kind of flat um, and we have our oil um, so what we're going to do is we're going to very slowly incorporate the oil uh, a few drops at a time to make the emulsion all right so we incorporate all the oil here, and as you can see, this dressing is a little thick, right? You want it to be um, a little more smooth, runny, and so on. So what we're gonna do when this happens, one way to fix this is, um, this comes from the concentration of the um, orange juice to begin with. Um, it was very thick and very concentrated to begin with, so that, that's where that thickness comes from. So what we're going to do is we're gonna take a little bit of uh, unreduced orange juice, or whatever other use you might have used to begin with, and we're gonna add a little bit of that to adjust the thickness of it. And as you can see now, it is the consistency that we're looking for. So it's a lot easier to incorporate your oil to begin with and do it at first and then adjust the thickening if it needs it, uh, rather than trying to in incorporate the, the um, unreduced juice as you go because you'll have a better chance of um, get into the consistency that you're looking for um, if you add the, the unreduced juice at the end rather than as you go. But uh, this is the consistency we're looking for. Um, we're ready to go now. We're gonna go ahead and start plating our salad here in a little bit. We have all of our salad components ready. One thing I wanna show you here, we took the greens. Uh, remember if you go back, we shot this in uh, ice water to make it crispy up now. You don't have to do that, right? There's nothing wrong with not doing that. But I want to show, the reason we did that is again, we talk about how do we you know, bring our salad up just a little more refined, just a little more um, thought into, uh, into what it's gonna look like on the plate, how is it gonna eat and so on. These were the same greens, 
we did not put these in ice water. As you can see, they're a lot flatter. They look a little bit more, uh, the, the coats are a little darker. Um, they, they look like, the, you know, they're a little bit less uh, attractive, if you will. Um, whereas respectfully, these ones um, are gonna be a little bit more crispy. You can see the curls more. You can see the colors a little more about bright brown. They're gonna st uh, stack up on the plate a lot nicer. So again, certainly you don't have to do these, but, um, but just want to show you the comparison of why we, we do some of the techniques that we do and, and the thought that goes behind that. Um, the other thing I want to point out before we start plating our salad um, is that the dressing that we did, um, we do we have a lot of leftover dressing. Um, and so one thing you can do is you certainly can save that, right? That will last you five, seven days under the refrigerator. You can use that for um, a lot of uh, throughout the week or uh, some of the other recipes that we've shown you that uh, call for dressings or vinaigrettes, you can certainly do that. Um, so we're gonna take our salad greens right here. We're gonna add a little bit of the dressing and you want just enough of the dressing to get the greens moist, but you don't wanna weigh them down. Again, we, there was a reason behind making them, putting them in water and getting them crispy. So very carefully, we just um, toss them around on the bowl a little bit and we're gonna season them with a little salt and pepper, uh, and at this point, we're ready to we're ready to start plating. So, again, thank you for joining us today. We hope that you enjoyed this um, this recipe. Again, very simple, uh, but but this is gonna be something just a different way to think of uh, think how to incorporate flavor and build flavor layers, and really think about taking just a simple salad to what we call a composed salad, and making it more attractive, more flavorful. There's more um, pack for your punch, if you will. So. Uh, thank you for joining us again, and we'll see you in the next video. All right, so we have the salad plated here. Um, one thing we're going to uh, finish it up with is, you noticed earlier, we only tossed the greens with the dressing. We didn't dress the uh, cucumbers or the asparagus that we, or the butternut squash that we pickled, right? Um, the reason we didn't do that is because we marinated those, the asparagus and the cucumbers, and we pickled the butternut squash. We want those flavors to help marry that salad up, help, help marry all the other flavors. What we are gonna do though is, we're gonna take a little bit of the dressing and we're just going to lightly sprinkle um, some of that dressing around just to um, touch some of the components, but we don't want these swimming um, in dressing. You want, again, you wanna have those flavors shine versus tossing the whole salad and all the ingredients with this. So, um, ready to serve now. Um, we hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for joining us again. Um, I hope that you find a way to make uh, a simple salad and really think about the flavors and really think about the development of um, the techniques that go into building flavors and taking something from a very simple dish to a little bit more um, elevated dish and a little bit more upscale scale with uh, uh, being careful of the touch and being um, proactive on how you end up the end result um, and the flavor profile of your salad. So thank you for joining us and I hope to see you again. Hi, my name is Rayleigh Harper with the School of Hospitality Management and Culinary Arts at Columbus State Community College. We hope you're enjoying our new YouTube channel and would love for you to subscribe to see more videos and chef demonstrations. Also, please visit us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Lastly, you can visit cscc.edu, the hospitality department page, if you would like to learn more information about our programs and our school.